Today I'd like to talk to you about Cricut tools, particularly if you're new and you're not sure what tools to you use or what they're for. I'm going to go through a few things and I'm also going to go through how I store my blades to give you an idea of what's out there to use. Okay, the first thing that I'm impressed with about the Cricut tools is their packaging. Have you ever bought something and it's in a package and you just, you can't get it open and you cut it open and it doesn't tear open and it's just horrible. But then maybe you purchased another product that is just thought out, well thought out and easy to get into. That's what Cricut has done. They have done such an excellent job of packaging their things. And while that makes no difference in terms of um, how they work, it sure makes a difference in how happy I am when I open the product. Okay, so let's just go down and look at the tools. This is the first set of tools that I have. I've been using this for quite some time. Um, oops, a pair of scissors. And these scissors are really nice, really sharp. They are matched up beautifully. And they have a cover to them, which I like, because I tend to drop my stuff in a bucket. And when you drop your stuff in a bucket like that, you're going to uh, dull up those tips. So I like that tool. This is their the pick. And you can see, I have a very tiny hand. I have what um, a dear friend used to call a fifth grader's hand. And this tool just feels good. I have a little bit of arthritis in my hands. And it's bigger than your standard um, tools. I can't find my other tools, but that's okay. But just compare it to a, an X-Acto knife. An X-Acto knife, your hand is pretty cramped using it. And um, for me, I like this, and it's at a good angle for, for weeding. It's at a really good angle for weeding. It's very, very, very sharp, and it works really well. Be sure you use it on a hard surface. I made the mistake of trying to do my weeding on my long mouse pad, and that didn't work out too well. So be sure you're using it on a, a good surface. Then you have your tweezers, your pickup tweezers. These, you squeeze them, and they open, and then they grab onto something. Okay, so that's pretty good if it can hold that, that scraper. So these are very handy when you're maybe using this hand to grab something and making sure something stays down on the paper. Then the scraper. I would prefer the scraper was a little bigger. For my hand, it works really well. Um, it's a little sharp, so you do need to be a little bit careful with it, but it works well, and it, it does feel good in your hand. The next, let's talk about the packaging. Here's the packaging. It's pretty. It's all color coordinated. That's nice if that matters to you. It doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me is how the tools work. But what they've done is instead of you having to cut through heavy plastic, they have perforated everything so that the back just easily comes off. So easy. So nice. And then these pop out. They have a little rubber protector on them. There we go so that you can't hurt yourself. I like the rubber protector because I can put that back on and drop my tool down in my, um, in my tub. These are a different, a little different angle, if you can see. So, you know, they give you some options. Sometimes it feels good to, you know, to pull things up this way. Okay, the next one is another angled pick. Um, perhaps you can see it's kind of really sharp and it's got a different angle to it. So they give you lots of options. Sometimes when you weed, you need a different angle or you need something different. And they give you lots of options. I like that. Here's another one yet. This, this one is, I think, Very similar. This one's a little skinnier than this one, but for the most part, they're the same tool. It's always good to have two. I have one at my desk and one on my craft table. And then this one's a straight pick. This one's straight. So you never know if you need to just get in there with a straight pick. And the tools, they all feel good when you pick them up. They just all feel good. They feel nice in your hand. And this one is, of course, tweezers. Always need tweezers for grabbing that little piece and getting that off of your paper or onto your project. So those are the weeding tools. I really like them. They're very versatile, gives you lots of options. You know, we all, our hands are all different sizes and um, we're all comfortable with different pens and different 
um, cutting tools and things like that. So they give you lots of options. So I would suggest you go to your local um, Cricut dealer or you go online. I'll put a link in so you can go online and you look for the tools that you think will work well for you. I like them because the weight is good. They're, they, they're not going to fatigue your hands. If you're doing a lot of weeding, you're doing a big weeding project, project, you'll be happy for that. The next thing I have is my Cricut tool storage. I like this little guy because um, you can open it and put your um, housings down in the bottom. I forget how to do it because there we go. It just twists. And you can put your housings. This is a, um, a scoring blade. So it's not sharp, so don't, don't freak out with my touching it. But they have little places for you to put your interchangeable blades so you don't have to buy quite as many housings. I like that. And then your blades just hang in there so they're easily accessible. So this one is a, um, if you can see it right there, it's a serrated one, like a, a it's for decoration. And then this one, of course, is the rotary blade. Very, very sharp. Please be careful. And then a wavy blade. If you can tell. It's a wavy blade for maybe the edges of cards or things like that. Actually, this one is not the rotary blade. This one is a scoring blade. I lied to you. Okay. This one is the rotary blade. And it is a little bitty rotary blade on that housing. So you want to be very, very careful with that rotary blade. The craft blade, the deep cut craft blade, and another craft blade. Now, what you want to know, if you, if you don't have a maker and you have an Explore Air, that's fine. Your Explore Air, your Explore Air 2 is going to do probably everything you want to do. But if you don't have a maker and you're looking to do other things and have other specialty tools, the maker is worth this blade alone, the rotary blade. You do not need to bond your fabric with this rotary blade. Now I know the Cameo 4 you don't need to either, but um, you don't need to bond your fabric and it cuts beautifully. It cuts felt, it cuts marine vinyl, it cuts um, craft foam and fabric without bonding. So this is an awesome tool. It would be about $50, I think, on its own. So it's well worth the extra cost of the maker. Then of course this is the um, the deeper cut blade, the heavier blade. And then this is the new scoring, I'm sorry, the new foil transfer. And this is it's all magnetic and these tips come out and there are three different tips. I'm going to do a video on the foil transfer kit really soon so that's what this is. But it's, you see it holds all your tools in here really well so that you can just cover it up and they're dust free. So needless to say, I love my Cricut. I do. I've been a cameo girl for five or six years and I, I Cricut is my go-to machine now because it just works so beautifully. I do have a maker, um, but you can do everything you can do on an Explorer Air, Explorer Air 2. They're all good machines. So that's what I have for you today. If you're not a member of my blog, please come on over www.svgforfunandprofit.com and if you're not on my Facebook page, please come there also. Same thing. SVG for fun and profit. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. I have a goal of a thousand subscribers and you can help me out with that. And click the bell to get a notification of new videos that may help you in the future. Thanks for joining me. Again, this is Holly Pike from SVG for fun and profit.